Hi friends, welcome to our second foundational skills lesson this week. And today we'll be talking about our structural analysis, which is irregular plurals. So we've talked about making something plural. What does it mean when something is plural? When something is plural, that means you have more than one. And we talked about that in class. And normally you would just say, um, you would be adding an S to the end of that word. So if I have a dog, I would say, and then I got a new puppy and now I have two dogs. I would add that S. We also learned how sometimes you would add ES, um, depending if it, ha if it ends with a CH or an SH. Like I saw a wild blueberry bush. Nope, there was actually five wild blueberry bushes and you would add that ES. But then sometimes we have something called irregular plurals, which means it doesn't fit any of those patterns. It's totally different in the sense that it may not change its spelling at all. For instance, we have that in the word sheep. One sheep, I see a sheep outside eating grass. But I saw a lot more sheep yesterday. It stays the same. It does not change in spelling. It's the same with the singular form and the plural form. Then we have other times where the whole word is getting changed. Um, the ending may change a bit. Uh, a lot of it gets changed out, such as child. We still have that at the beginning, but now it's children. And that ending is added to it. Fish would be one that stays the same. Look at the word leaf. So we have the L-E-A that stays the same, but now it turns into leaves. There were many leaves that had fallen to the ground. Series stays the same. Like I like the, um, Think of a series, the Magic Treehouse book series, or I like um, Geronimo Stilton series. So it stays the same. So I would say pause the video here, look at all the different words and see some, how some words are changing and how some stay the same with singular and plural. So look at these, kind of study them. Sometimes you just have to memorize what they're going to be looking like and how they're going to be changing or not changing. Um, so kind of look at look at these words for a bit. What I want you to do on the next slide is you're going to be creating five sentences using irregular plurals. You need to underline or circle each irregular plural you use. And then don't forget to number each sentence. So be organized. So here I have an example of what your paper should look like. I've labeled it with five irregular plural sentences. I've numbered it. So, then I'll, so now I'm ready to start writing my sentences. And then once I start to write my sentence, wherever I see my irregular plural, I'm going to either underline there or I'm going to circle that word. So then when I'm looking at your work, I can see exactly where you used that word. Okay. So uh, make sure you have this posted up onto Padlet by Friday, May 15th, and I can't wait to see all your sentences. All right. Have a good day, friends.